All right, day three on my camper uh, renovation <laughs> rebuild. And uh, you can see that thing's pretty well gutted out. There's no frame in there, nah, nothing at all. It's a little bit on the wall here, but basically uh, took everything right out of there. A little bit on the ceiling is gone. And uh, starting to look at getting it put back together now. I've got a few more pieces I've got to make. Working on these side pieces. I got this one out. It's going to be a challenge to reconnect this piece here, but I've got some ideas. Uh, I think that they're going to work. I've got to replace a couple pieces over here on the end right now, and that curved piece at the top. I've got one down here from the other side. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, we'll get those pieces replaced there. I'll probably make this side at the same time because it'll be the same. And that'll give me everything I need for the walls. And then I'll just have one more piece to make down on the side here. The wire goes right through the bottom and comes out going the top. Um, I've got to cut, cut a couple of these corner pieces out. They go right in this area here to hold up uh, uh, the bed X area. Uh, so those should be pretty easy to make. Just a couple of pieces of plywood and a couple of these thin strips right here. Um, I need to make that go uh, along this piece here, which is also uh, two more pieces I have to make, one for each side. So I have uh, two of those to make, two of these to make, and two of those to make. Still have some uh, wall pieces up here to make, but that should be fairly easy. I've got the whole front pretty much, all the pieces made for the whole nose, uh, just waiting to get in there. And uh, I'm gonna basically be working my way from the bottom up. I'm gonna start down here, start putting the brace and support pieces back on here to hold this bed up. While I was gone to the hardware store to get some more pieces, Brenda was kind enough to paint this for me, uh, just to kind of seal it up both on the inside and on the outside. It's it's still really solid. Uh, there's n really nothing wrong with it. Glad I didn't have to replace it. And once I get the uh, supports back in here, everything will be nice and straight. So, and I, I'm, I'm confident I can make it actually stronger than it originally was. Uh, they used uh, staples when they attached the pieces of wood together, and those staples just rotted right out probably just from the condensation uh, who knows but anyway uh, that's where we're at I'm going to go ahead and get those pieces made and I'll come back and we'll get uh, probably get started putting it back together all right this is the last of the pieces I had to make duplicates of for, uh, for the camper wall and the ceiling um, Everything came out pretty nice. And corner brackets. So there may be a couple uh, miscellaneous pieces I need for inside the wall right now. But other than that, this is pretty much everything I need to get started on putting it together. So I will start that tomorrow. It's getting late now. And we'll get this uh, first couple pieces at least put together. And then I'll probably... Re rebuild this frame right here and uh, hopefully that might go in in pieces and sections so it shouldn't be too difficult hopefully all right carry on tomorrow all right so here's day four of my uh, truck camper nose rebuild if you've uh, seen the re uh, rest of the video or pre previous videos you'll know that I completely ripped out the nose it was kind of falling out it was all rusty uh rotted out and it was uh no longer any good i had to replace everything basically try to salvage what i can uh i'm we're going to be rebuilding this whole nose piece and that goes with all of the corner pieces and everything that basically that it attaches to on the side walls and we'll get back in the camper and we'll take another look at that but basically I had to recreate pretty much everything 
Uh, here's some corner pieces um, and some roof pieces that come down, some more support pieces, and then this is all of the pieces for to rebuild this, pretty much. Um, there's some wall pieces I've already uh, started to cut. I believe that's all I need for that. I've also got a couple pieces in the camper already. But basically, this is pretty much everything uh, cut using patterns and whatnot I could from the uh, rest of the rotted out parts. Um, there's still going to be a couple pieces I have to make, um, but for the most part, um, I didn't have all of these pieces on the top here. So once I get this all put in, then I can take my final measurements to get those pieces. Stuff like that, and wherever I want to reinforce it as much as I can. So now the fun part starts. Um, I've got to start reassembling it. That's going to be a challenge because they used a stapler originally. Um, I may have to end up finding a stapler, whether that's renting one or buying one. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to do my best using glue, screws, and I bought some plates that uh, are for mending, uh, putting pieces together. But my problem with that is it's not, uh, there's not a real good hammering surface, so um, tapping it in could be a challenge. So that's my concern, and right now um, I've got to build the base of the bed up, and then once I've done that and I feel that's secure, I can start on the walls and uh, just see how this goes. This is day four. Um, I haven't put in four straight days, but hours here and there. And uh, pretty much had to rip the part on Saturday, then continued disassembling on Sunday. Yesterday was some more disassembling, but at the same time make, making all these pieces. And today uh, we're gonna, just going to do as much as we can. I'm not going to push it too hard. I'm, uh, I don't want to get it done, but on the other hand, I want to do it right. And I want to make sure it's going to be strong So uh, and safe. So, we'll get back to the camper. I'm going to start putting in the uh, side pieces for the bed and support. And then I'm going to need these two pieces for that. And these corner pieces right here, I believe. I'll start with that. And go from there. Let's go over to the camper. All right, here we are. We're underneath the bed right now. This is the bed area. And you can see I've got it supported. Um, these initial pieces I'm reassembling are probably the more most critical ones I've got to get right as much as I can. Um, I say as much as I can because this one on this side, this is the piece I'm talking about right here. This is the uh, support. What's going to happen is this gets tied in back here and then there's uh, these little strips of wood that go underneath just to give it support and it gets screwed. So this basically becomes one of the main supports on the outside. <clears throat> Obviously you've got these supports here and here and here and then the other one on the end. These here, uh, there's another strip that goes here, which I have over here somewhere. And that will pretty much get supported by, from the top part, uh, or some support from the top part uh, frame that I gotta rebuild. But these pieces here on the side, um, when they originally built the camper, these pieces actually tied in, I don't know if you can see that, but they tied in back back to here there's a joint now I, I there's no way for me to get in there to take this piece out and obviously the way it's designed is that one piece you know, it's well supported here and it comes through and really is a major support beam for the uh, for the bed area um, because I couldn't get back there I ended up cutting it over here trying to leave some of this support here and on there, and you can see I've got these plates on here, and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna put some screws. I'm gonna do, and some glue. I'm gonna do everything I can to try and 
make this joint as strong as possible. It won't be as good as new probably, but um, I'm gonna do everything I can to try and, and, and give it the uh, strength that it needs. Um, obviously, there, also there are some, these here went under here, and these are supports from the side also. So once those get in, so everything combined, now this was originally, uh, these were in here from factory. I had to re remake a couple for, uh, they were rotted out, the ones that were in here. But, um, so my hope is between these supports and all the things I'm gonna try and do, the glue, the screw, the tie plates here, um, I'm hoping I can make a connection there that's gonna be as strong. Not as strong maybe, but uh, as strong as I can so that you know, it uh, hopefully will stay together for the duration of uh, what we're gonna use it for. So I still got a little bit to dig out on this side. This one was actually rotted right out and this wall moves out even less. I can't really move it out. I've got this, uh, this is the refrigerator, back of refrigerator and I'd have to take this whole frame apart to try and peel this back. There's a couple of, um, holes here that I have to take out and uh, although I do need to replace this one here um, I just don't feel like getting into ripping this all apart right now so I'm going to try and clean out this notch enough so that I can do like I did on the other side and get uh, get a piece of wood in there and uh, figure out how I'm gonna support it from there I guess so we'll start with that one and we'll uh, Work our way over here. Maybe I'll learn something on that side I can use off on this side. I ended up taking the roof section off over here. It actually came undone. There was only one screw holding it. It's pretty windy today. I didn't want to take a chance of it uh, flying around. Plus, it'll just make it so much easier to uh, work on this now. So, well, it's gone. Got on the ground over there, and we'll just uh, pull it down. And I can clean it up and or put it back up. All right. This uh, this nose piece right here, or this piece that goes on the end of the bed, is actually the first piece I'm going to put on. It just mounts flush to the end here, and that's the uh, front piece that supports the frame up front. I need to get this on, and that way that gives me my final uh, uh, length or distance out out to here and uh, I can go about putting the sides on from there. Got the first corner piece put in here. Now I'm gonna go and attach the piece that it supports up top. 